thing that has been coming up on my TikTok a lot is tons of girls getting into, not just girls, but mostly I've seen a lot of women Mm -hmm. getting into junk journaling. And it has been so cool. I've been seeing so many junk journaling videos across my For You page. And it has just been so cute. And it has inspired me to get into my little junk journaling bag and start Mm -hmm. journaling about my year and realizing that it doesn't have to be something big. You can just jump like journal about just the regular regular stuff that goes on in your day-to-day life and it doesn't have to be that deep so I've been loving seeing those yeah honestly anything stationary over on TikTok is just amazing I love the Mm -hmm. journaling I love the coloring like it's just it feels so uncurated yes it feels like folks are just having fun and learning from one another and that's Mm kind of what I miss um when it comes to like stationary yes. on social media, I, I really miss that getting information back and forth from one another, people just finding genuine joy out of mm-hmm. it um, and stuff not being a hundred percent perfect. So it's really cool to see. I do. I love yeah. it. I really, really love it. Yep, exactly. Cause I just see people just, you know, they'll just glue like a piece of a plastic bag. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Or something to the page. It's just so cute. And like you said, like a lot of what I'm seeing is not from like artists or like content creators. It's mm-hmm. literally just people just pulling out their phone and just recording what they're doing. It just feels very, very organic. So, I mean, right, I'll yeah. see planner stuff on TikTok, but I have to seek it out. Whereas the journal journal and stuff has really been fine to me. And it's like the more I see, the more I like it to interact with, the more that are just coming up. And I'm just not seeing planner stuff to that extent at all. Even like I said, when I seek it out, I still just don't find as much. So you know planner people don't like videos. <laughs> that is that is the, the the fake news that the planner community <laughs> They don't, you know, they was boycotting the reels. The they for yeah. damn sure ain't on TikTok. And they should be, shoot. They should these be. Too. I, I mean, high key, I've been seeing some of these planner brands hook up with the people mm-hmm. that do junk journaling. Mm-hmm. They have. So if you're a creator out there and like where the brand's at, it's because they left you behind. They left you behind. They're doing something yeah. else. They own to the next. Own to That's something so else. True. Yeah. But it, yeah, like I said, it has been extremely refreshing. Yeah, to see and you regular know what? folks do it. I, one thing I definitely love and appreciate about TikTok as well is that if you like something on TikTok, yeah, you're going to see more of that, but it's not going to be the only thing that you see. You're still going to see other stuff that you like. Whereas like in comparison, threads, I love threads, but as soon as I got heavy into like politics and following those accounts on threads and liking those posts, that's all I see on threads now. Is literally all I see on threads. Balance. That TikTok still has that variety and that balance mm-hmm. of I'm not just a one note person. Like I have various interests and TikTok is still serving my various interests. I still see recipes. I still see comedy. I still see politics. I still see journaling. Threads, mm-hmm. uh-uh. It's just nothing but one thing. And you only got to uh, like one thing for real. And it's crazy. All threads, yeah. It's <laughs> crazy. You are now a skateboard bro because you watch one That's little it. skateboard thing or I like know. one thing. It's like y'all know people can like more than one thing at a time, right? Like that. Has it's just like been, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know why they, they can't might, get that right. They no. just cannot get that right. That's why they're trying to take over TikTok. Because I guarantee you, because we still got the thing with TikTok looming on what's going to mm-hmm. happen with it. And if TikTok ends up deciding to sell, you best believe Meta is going to be the highest bidder trying to get in on that so they can ruin it too. So, yeah. TikTok is just so refreshing. I'm sorry. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Yep. It's not really as hard as people make it out to be, honestly. No, no, and I think, and I, I will say this because they're, you know, I feel like as a consumer, I absolutely love TikTok. I've heard from other content creators online that TikTok is not their favorite platform. It's from being a content creator because of various things in the background, but that mm-hmm. don't apply to me. So I can only go by what applies to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just yeah, be, honestly, I don't make too yeah. much content over there either. So maybe yeah, that's, so you're yeah. not relying on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So you know, so that I think it is. It's different depending on whether you're a consumer or if you are, you know, content creating, trying to make money off the platform. I have heard it's not perfect, 
from that perspective but as a consumer perspective for the most part i i like it a lot and they you know everything has some tweaks that they can make um but you know tiktok is my favorite social media platform so uh, now i wouldn't go that far <laughs> i give it to you too but <laughs> Yeah, but I'm a long no. form girly, so yeah. If it's fair. short form, TikTok wins though. Mm-hmm. But um, fair. but yeah, the only only gripe I have with TikTok as a consumer is when I follow somebody, mm-hmm. it's like poof, gone, never see them mm-hmm. again. Because mm-hmm. they like, oh well, you like them now. Let's feed you someone else that you may like. But I'm like, I want to. I that's why I followed them. I want to see. More I know. Of yeah, that's weird. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Because I used to follow gripe. people that I like. If I see enough of their videos and I like them, then I'll just be in a Yeah, I had to stop yeah, doing that because then I won't see them anymore. Mm. Very interesting. Which yeah. sucks. Yeah, I definitely, I think, uh, hmm, I think in my hierarchy of social media platforms, I think YouTube is probably number three. I think I really do still like threads a lot. That's definitely my number two. Um, YouTube is, I mean, YouTube is just going to be the constant. It's just, it's solid and it is reliable. For sure, um, I just don't. YouTube watch as is much like long term the co- social long media big form. mama. Yeah, just, you know, yeah. like there. the granddad. Mm-hmm. We're just it's just there. It's just you can rely on it. It hadn't changed up too much. Over they the pay you well year. as a creator. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, f- I find you to be more of a, uh, like a. Not Twitter, but what what is that social media kind of called when it's more tech space? Mm, threads? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, like I find you to be more of that type of person. Like you express yourself more via words. Yeah, yeah. Versus like creating a video. Yeah, type thing. I'm definitely more like that. Yeah, for sure. That's why I do like threads a lot. Yeah, it's just easy. I feel like it's just the easiest thing to do. Um, and Elon but yeah. Run it. Yeah, I think I think if I could change anything about YouTube, I would love it to be just easier to find new creators and like create it like without having there to seek them yeah. out. That's the thing. Cause like with YouTube, like obviously I can it's very easy to find and tune into the same old people I've been watching for years. Mm-hmm. But as far as like new people, I have to seek them out. Whereas, you know, TikTok is literally the opposite. You can't find people that you follow, but it's nothing <laughs> yeah. but new people all the time you know that's that's funny because i i think mm-hmm. i like that's what i like about youtube like there is a level of investment for mm-hmm. me as a viewer to find who i want that's true so that's and you know since i have the investment in it i'm finding the right people if yeah. that makes sense but if you that's don't true. want to put in the work i could see youtube being like eh. or you know sometimes you just don't know what you're looking for that's so you can't too. really look for something if you don't really know what you're looking for. Whereas, like with TikTok, it's just like served to you. And like, oh, I do like this type of content. I didn't even realize, or mm-hmm. I forgot this type of content existed, or whatever. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? I keep the I journaling like mm-hmm. and coloring. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've gotten a lot more into coloring because TikTok served it up to me. I wasn't looking for it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, yeah, and you know what? I used to. I guess I'll still go to YouTube for like reviews or something like that but now tiktok is like the primary place that i go like if i see a purse that i think is cute but i want to see people wearing it or using it i'm going to tiktok to find other people wearing or you you know what i'm saying like that's my that's my first place i go and then i'll go to youtube but yeah i would i agree with that too like recipes and stuff tiktok Mm -hmm. even like i used to go to youtube to be like how to do I usually go to TikTok for that. I feel like yeah. I go to YouTube to find connection with other people. Yeah, yeah. And that's why a lot of people don't really like YouTube because it's more of a mm-hmm. grind. Like you have mm-hmm. to grind out. Cause, but it's more of a reward because that's true. I know all the names of my favorite YouTubers. That's very true. Versus TikTok is like, oh yeah, that you know one dude that yeah. talks about all the different restaurants and what they're coming yeah. out with. We're like, what's his name, name again? Yeah. I'm find out his name though. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> He does so help true. us a lot. Like, yeah, very great content. But exactly, that's just the nature since he's on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But yeah, I don't know. Random social media chat. If yeah. you're into journaling, and particularly junk journaling, even if you don't want to make content, TikTok is just a great place to find that type of content because there's yes. just so many people 
who were just doing it so casually. And it's really, really catching on. It's catching on and over on TikTok. Too, yeah. yeah, how I thought that the planner community would catch on to TikTok, but it just has not happened. I feel like there was point. a little fire or something, like maybe a year or so ago. Mm-hmm. Like a little spark. Like, okay, I see planner stuff coming up and then it just fizzled out. But I feel like it's because the core of us mm-hmm. don't really want to go and adapt that new platform. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, and I, I I'm curious to know if planner stuff will catch on on TikTok the way that the journaling stuff has because I think I just think so many people on TikTok are just so casual. Like it was one girl's journaling video I was watching, and she was like, "I wanted to put this picture in my journal with like washi tape, but then I realized I didn't have any washi tape, so I just ordered some from Amazon." I was like, "Order some from Amazon? Oh my god!" <laughs> but that's where we started that's so cute yeah (laughs) (laughs) i think there could be a renaissance yeah of planning if we had like people willing to take that step over there and that's when we was buying stuff from the target yeah for sure i just think it's just i just think it's a little different because i feel like if the big planner people all migrated over to tiktok I think initially casual people would be very intimidated to see they like have a to whole dumb it down planner for sure. cart yeah. full of stickers and washi tape. I think it would just be a lot. Whereas, like I said, this journaling content is so relatable because the majority of people don't have 50 rolls of washi on hand or all right. these stickers and stuff. You know, I think it's just so much more relatable than yeah. like the heavy planner stuff is. This is it. This is an interesting topic because, like, mm-hmm. I feel like this is how book talk is now. Mm-hmm. It was very casual, very like you know, surface level type stuff. Yeah. And then now, if you look at book talk stuff, it's here. I read a hundred books this month, and all this stuff like it's so the over your head. In yeah, my type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. and it can be so, off-putting to people. Who yeah, are, like, very casual readers. Yeah. This is kind of why I'm not like super heavy into book talk because I just don't find it super relatable. Like anything past giving me fall books that give me fall spooky season vibes, like that's the type of stuff that I want to see. I don't need to see something like super in depth. Like I said, seeing your very beautiful library room just makes me feel bad because I don't mm-hmm. have a library room. I don't even have enough books to do. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I think I think it started out like that though. Yeah, like with book talk, but it just kind of went overboard. So if y'all are interested in making book talk type content, keep it simple. Keep it simple because that's Dumb what it down a bit. Want to yeah. see, and it could definitely catch on. I mean, same thing with the planner community stuff. Mm-hmm. Like a tour of your whole planner room and your all ten planner cards and stuff that might not that catch yeah. the same way that here's basic stuff you can get started on with planning on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of got to know your audience and the TikTok audience. I just feel like they'd be very overwhelmed with the planner community. Just yeah. Extremely. Simple is more relatable to me nowadays. Yeah. Yes. And that's yeah. why yeah. I think like even like these little like planner like like stationary festivals and stuff, those might really go over well with that audience too because it's just casual. It's probably going to be a couple hours in mm-hmm. the day. Ticket probably going to be 50 bucks or something like that, you know. So that's just very relatable and easy for like casual people without like a huge commitment whereas like some of these like planner conferences they might not they're not hidden to the casuals because it's just it's too much it's top too much it's just too much of an investment they don't even mess with it like that to be paying you know hundreds of dollars so yeah make content for the girl who grew up loving their school planner and Mm -hmm. lisa frank like that's the people you probably need to appeal to because yeah yeah that's true but interesting 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 because i was thinking about that because book talk does go over my goddamn head like goddamn i'm still reading the same book <laughs> since february march like come on Girl, y'all are doing I, too much i read one book this year and it was an audio book okay where's the girlies who and who on that type of t- time <laughs> i love my kindle i love the audio i love to read you know yeah. like but you when you have like people who read a hundred books a month and love that for you, not mm-hmm. like, you know, counting you out or whatever, but it's like, I can't relate. Cause it's, yeah. it's a sport for you. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I think this definitely kind of can go back into kind of the lack of growth in the planner community that we have started to see how we kind of have felt like the planner community has kind of reached its peak 
and mm. got the majority of the people that it's going to get because having a wall full of sticker books is not relatable to 90% no. of people. It's the huge turnoff. It's, you know, it's just not because especially in this economy. Yeah, you got to roll it back. Remember that, yeah. that picture with all the, the girl with the, all the happy planner books? Yeah, Can you imagine exactly that? exactly <laughs> what I was referring to. Yeah. And you know, this, and at one point in time, us in the planner community were like, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like, you have to think about it as somebody who is a casual person who, you know, you're like, is it that deep? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Like casual people has like a drawer of stuff that uh -huh. they use. You're yeah, laying in the sea of sticker books. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I definitely think that that has a lot to do with why the journaling is popping off. And if planning wants to have a chance of popping off on TikTok, we got to less is more. We got to we got to bring it down a notch because less we're is more. Turn off a lot of people who don't have two hundred dollars a month to spend on planner supplies so i don't even know most people who shop like, I, don't, I know most of us aren't even shopping like that no more so yeah i mean we just talked about not having three obanitis and stuff girl what I, was we doing yeah, we was crazy <laughs> i'm embarrassed <laughs> truly because we need to do all that we, we really didn't need to do all that <laughs> 